Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a background for your video content using Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so to follow this tutorial, we need to download a few video clips. So I'm going to open up the web browser. I'll put links to all of these videos in the YouTube description. Let's go to this first video clip and we'll make sure we select Full HD 1920 by 1080. Click free download. We're going to download one more video clip. We'll go back to the same website. It's a different video clip and we'll click 1920 by 1080. And then we need one more file, which is going to be a picture. So we we'll download that as well. And this is just a pizza oven, right? So we we'll click download and we'll download it at uh, original. It's fine, right? We'll click free download. So we should have three video, two videos and one uh, image. Let's open up this folder and we'll drag and drop the video clip in here alongside with the audio. And we just want to rename this. So let's just call this background. And I'll put links to all of this content inside of the YouTube description. We'll just call this video 01 and we'll call this one 02. Let's go ahead and minimize this. And let's open up Premiere Pro. And we will take all of the content that we've just downloaded. Let's, in fact, let's just take the two um, video clips first and drag and drop them onto the timeline. So we've got two video clips here. This one has audio. So I just want to delete this audio. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key, left click outside here somewhere, hold down the Alt key, click on the video clip itself and then hit the delete key. And I want to stack these. So I want to drag this one up and then drag this one across. And we can see uh, we've got these two sort of video clips here. We just want to drag this across on the timeline. So just click on the right hand side, hold down the left mouse button, drag across and let them snap together like this. So make sure your, your snapping timeline tool is here, is active as well, yeah, here. And here we can see the two video clips and one sitting on top of the other. So there, you can't really see them properly. So really what we need to do is change the size. So I'm gonna click on the first one and I'm gonna go to, effects control so make sure you can see in the windows make sure you've got effects controls enabled here or shift number five and we'll just drag this timeline across click on the first video clip and this is like the one of the pizza flyover sort of site, uh, style right and what we want to do is set this one to scale at 40 percent so i'm going to scale it down to like 40 percent and then the position i'm going to set it to uh 1000 480 so I want to kind of like right align it but have a gap down the side here and we'll click on the other clip now we can see that in the background now you could just leave that in the background and that will be a video playing but that's not what we're doing today so today we want to set the position for this one to 540 and we're going to set it scale to 40 percent so we kind of got these two sitting side by side right like this um, let's just check this first one again Let's see, uh, this one should be set to, in fact, let's set this to 50%. I wanna make this one a little bit bigger, right? So the gaps down the side will be roughly the same. So now all we need to do is take these two video clips and highlight them with your mouse and we'll enable these video layers above these ones here, two and three, and we just drag this up one. And then we're gonna go to our folder again on the desktop and we'll drag and drop the background on the very bottom layer. Now that background sits behind us, but we want to stretch this out a little bit. And if we click the play button, I mean, it's okay, right? But you, you don't really get to see this um, this oven in the background, right? This um, pizza oven. So we want to see that a bit better. So what we'll do is take these two video clips and drag them across the timeline a little bit to leave a gap here. And we drag this um, background to leave a little gap towards the end, right? So now when we start, we can see the pizza oven, but we really want to click on this pizza oven and we want to scale it down so we can see it a bit better. Let's say around this sort of size. So we just scale it down to around 44%, right? Now we can see it, but when we click the play button, we see the pizza oven and then we see this pizza being made and you know, it's looking a little bit better, but we can improve this a little bit more. So let's try and improve it a little bit more. What we'll do is uh, we'll click on the background. Let's just go to our video transitions here and in the, the uh, dissolve let's click drag and drop a cross dissolve here at the beginning and let's drag and drop it at the end here and we'll drag and drop it at the beginning of the video clips and we'll also drag and drop it towards the end of the video clips right so now we've got some sort of transition at least so that things will fade in and out a little bit better 
uh, and it will just look a little bit better. So now when we click it, it will fade in nicely and then the videos will fade in, the videos will fade out and then the background will fade out. But we can improve this a little bit more. Let's pause it, let's go back to the beginning of the timeline. Let's click on the background image and we'll click on the stopwatch for the scale. So we'll add a keyframe at the beginning. You can just about see that keyframe here. Let's drag across the timeline just before the, the video start, right? And we'll add another keyframe here. So we'll click this little dot here and add a keyframe. Let's go to the beginning of the timeline again. So right to the beginning on this first keyframe and we're gonna increase the scale. So let's set it to something like 100. So it's at its original scale. And we'll highlight these two key keyframes. We're gonna right click on it and set it to Bezier. So um, in fact, we can just set it to Auto Bezier. That's fine. And now when we click the play button, uh, the picture will zoom in and it will also kind of gradually slow down, right? Like this. Here we go. All right, so now it's looking a little bit better. It's better improvement. It's not just a still picture. It's got some movement in there. You can do loads of things with the video if you want. Then it will fade out and then the picture will fade out towards the end. Okay, so that's how you go about adding a still image background inside of a Adobe Premiere Pro and then overlaying some video content on top. I thought I'd show you how to do this. It's a nice, easy tutorial, but at least you can improve your video content. You can have two video clips at the same time playing at different sizes, so it's a bit dynamic, a bit different. And then you've got your video or your background in the you know behind, which is a still image. It could have been a video, but I prefer to use a still background because then these video clips will be you know main focus, let's say. Let's go ahead and minimize this. And we can close this folder. That's how you go about adding a background image to your video content inside Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.